tell everything else, my channel is kind of like my diary. Um, but a lot of people have been blowing my phone up. Did you see such and such? Did you see this? Uh, do you know such and such? And I don't care. <laughs> A lot of you don't know that I was in a relationship for almost 10 years. Um, you know, I'm not gonna go into details, not gonna do any of that. I'm not trying to be mean, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so, this is for all the people that have been blowing me up. I really don't care. <laughs> but, um, but this is just it. Uh, yeah, so I was in a relationship for almost 10 years. Uh, it was interesting. Um, you know, you had your good days, you had your bad days, whatever, with a little bit of everything, you know. So it ended, but I chose to keep that relationship private because I am very transparent. <laughs> I am very transparent. Um, I didn't want to get different opinions here and there, there and there, um, from subscribers that only see about five or ten minutes of, you know, your life. So I chose to keep that private and that's what I did and maybe that was a problem also. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not not this is not what this video is about. This video is about me. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to drop some jewels on you too. But um what a lot I did the math. Check this out. I did the math and don't be trying to guess my age, okay? Period. Just leave it alone. Just, just love me as I am. <laughs> so I did the math, and I've been in relationships, continuous relationships. Just like somebody said, people assumed I didn't have anybody, so I was like, no, I haven't been single properly since birth. So almost thirty years. I did the math. I've been in relationships continuous, back to back, 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 <laughs> for almost 30 years. Damn, I know there are some people who've been married 30 years. I did boo boo boo. More power to you. <laughs> so, you know, I had two marriages and then this last relationship, but you know, there were a few, you know, a few people in between. Yes, all my kids have to say that. And then my last relationship, that was almost 10 years. So then I thought, processed everything. I processed it. And this is what I came up with. Yes! <laughs> I am so freaking happy. I am so overjoyed. You have no idea how free my heart feels. I dance every day. I run every day. I love people every day i continue to spread my joy every day i feel free i feel ooh, 30 years 30 years let me tell you something you have to know your work let me drop some jewels on you you know i feel like i had a tight weave that i had to, it was so tight it was taking my thoughts away and I just had to have the lady take it out because I couldn't think straight. It's like for the women out there, you know how you have a bra and your bra is too tight and when you get home, you just want to take that bra off and as you're walking through the door, you're unbuttoning and releasing these things from the, the, the vice grip of that annoying bra. That's what it was like. You know, if you're some guy, 
guys or some girls or you you know having a little thing or two you have some handcuffs on you your handcuffs are too tight and you just can't wait to get the cuffs off you know sometimes when you eat a lot and you wear your little gold jeans but you really haven't reached the goal to fit in those jeans but you put the jeans on anyway and then you go out to eat and then now you have to unbuckle the top button of the jeans and you may even have to zip it down a little bit that's how it feels just to take the jeans off and be free that's how it feels when you release yourself from 30 years of being with someone else but you have to know your worth and know when to walk away because when you are no longer a factor I would say motherfucking factor but when you are no longer a factor and you don't matter you are treated I don't know, maybe the guy is sleeping around on you, but you decide to stay with him anyway. What is that saying about yourself? What that's saying is your self-esteem is so low that you'll put up with something like that. Or what if they don't believe you, they don't trust you, they don't have your back, but you choose to stay with them anyway? What they're saying is that you are a non-factor. That's what they're saying. <laughs> So you have to know your worth as a woman. You have to know your worth as a man. But when you get tired of a situation, tired of not being treated a certain way or being treated a certain way, both sides, both sides, you know when it's time to walk away. And with all the people coming into my head, coming into my ear, I don't care. I don't care. I am free. I, I'm loving myself again. I'm I'm bursting with joy my heart feels like it's like like it's being energized it feels I have so much energy I love to dance that's why you see me if you follow my school videos I'm dancing I'm dancing because I'm happy I haven't danced for almost 10 years I am so happy to just love me. You couldn't pay me any amount of money in the world to get into another relationship. Because let me tell you something, you have to love yourself first before you can love someone else. You cannot depend on someone else to make you happy. Because what you're doing, you're putting a band-aid on that. It's just like a drug addict or someone who likes drugs who cannot cope in, with reality because they use that drug, which is their reality, but they're not really coping with the real world without that drug because now that drug is their reality. But when you don't have the drug, you can't cope. So when you just run from relationship to relationship, you're wanting someone to put that band-aid on you. You're wanting someone else to make you happy. I don't need anybody to complete me. I'm a complete package and a complete mess at the same time. Don't get it twisted. I make my mistakes, but me, complete package. I don't need anyone to complete me. No. Now, if you can compliment me, then that's another story. Never use somebody or be with somebody because you need them to make you happy. That's where you're using this person as your drug. No. You have to love you first. You have to love you even if you just sacrifice and be with a girl because you feel as though you can't get anybody else. What the hell? You need to heal yourself. You have to love yourself. I love joy. I'm learning to love me again. I'm learning to make, put me first. I'm just learning just being with me. You couldn't pay me any amount of money to get in another relationship. I give myself maybe a year to two years, or maybe never, never, never. Not in a rush, not interested, not caring about nobody, not arguing with nobody, don't have to do what anybody wants. I make my own decisions, go my own places. You know, I still got the kids to deal with. But it's so liberating not to be crying over anybody, worried about somebody. It feels wonderful. It feels wonderful to love me and fall in love with me. Oh my gosh, I had a wonderful morning the other day. I was like, okay, that was great. That This was a great sleep. This is great. So all the people that are coming in my ear, boop, 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 boop. I don't care. 
I don't care. I, I don't care. I'm just so happy. I'm free. <laughs> and I'm just so happy. I'm free. Just loving me. And that's what you have to do. You have to love you. You cannot love someone else until you love yourself. You can't expect people to bring you that joy. You need to find that joy within yourself. But you keep settling with this guy or that girl. You keep settling. Why? You have to know your worth. You have to know you are worthy of someone loving you, someone that's not putting you second place, someone that's not putting other people above you, somebody who loves you. I realized I wasn't really loved. And I just, it was time for me to walk away because I was no longer loved. But you know what? I love myself enough to walk away. Don't settle. Don't look for love for someone else because you feel like you can't be with somebody. Know your worth, boo, or guy, whoever. Know your worth. You're worth, you're worth it. Love you first. I could go out on a date. I could go by myself, and I'm fine with that. I'm going out on a date next weekend by myself, or I hang out with my little girls. Or Clinton ain't leaving the house. I went to the movie. I never posted this video. I went to the movies. I had a great day. It was great. I saw what I want, ate what I want, chilled what I want, walked around by myself, enjoyed the night air. It was wonderful dating me. It was wonderful really getting to know me and who I am. It's been such a wonderful and amazing journey. And I just want to bask in this feeling as long as as I can, because I love me.